Hey everyone, and welcome back to Joystick News, where we dive deep into the pulse of the gaming world. Today, we're setting our sights on a titan of the mobile gaming industry, Tencent's Honor of Kings. This game has been dominating charts and breaking records, and now it's gearing up for something huge and international expansion with a keen eye on the MENA region. So, buckle up as we explore what this means for the global gaming landscape and what we can expect from this colossal move. The Reign of Honor of Kings First things first, for those of you who might not be familiar, Honor of Kings is not just any mobile game, it's a phenomenon. Developed by Tencent, it's a multiplayer online battle arena MOBA game that has captivated millions of players worldwide, primarily in China. Its blend of strategic gameplay, iconic characters, and social elements has made it a staple of competitive gaming on mobile devices, targeting the MENA region. Now, onto the big news. Honor of Kings is setting its sights on international waters, specifically targeting the MENA Middle East and North Africa region. This move isn't just about expanding its player base. It's a strategic play to capture a global audience and cement its position as a leader in the mobile gaming world. The MENA region, with its rapidly growing gaming community and increasing smartphone penetration, presents a golden opportunity for Tencent. What this expansion means. This expansion is significant for several reasons. Firstly, it shows Tencent's ambition to make Honor of Kings a global brand, not just a regional powerhouse. Secondly, it highlights the importance of the MENA region in the global gaming ecosystem, a market that's often overlooked but is ripe with potential. Finally, it's a testament to the growing influence of mobile gaming, which continues to break down traditional barriers and redefine what we consider a gaming experience. The Potential Challenges Expanding into the MENA region won't be without its challenges, though. Cultural localization, competition from existing mobile games, and regulatory hurdles are just a few of the obstacles Tencent will need to navigate. How Honor of Kings adapts to meet the preferences and sensitivities of players in the MENA region will be crucial to its success. My take on the expansion. Personally, I'm excited to see how Honor of Kings will evolve with its MENA expansion. The game has already proven its mettle in China, and this move could set a precedent for how mobile games approach globalization. It's an opportunity for cross-cultural exchange within the gaming community and a chance for players in the MENA region to be part of a global phenomenon. However, the success of this expansion will heavily depend on Tencent's ability to localize content without diluting the core experience that made Honor of Kings a hit. It's a delicate balance, but if done right, it could open the doors for a new era of international mobile gaming. Wrapping up. As Honor of Kings prepares to make its mark on the MENA region, it's clear that the landscape of mobile gaming is about to get a lot more interesting. This move could pave the way for other mobile games to think globally, bringing diverse gaming experiences to players around the world. What do you think about Honor of Kings International Expansion? Do you believe the game will be as successful in the MENA region as it has been in China? Drop your thoughts, predictions, and opinions in the comments below, I'd love to hear what you think. And that's all for today's dive into the world of mobile gaming. If you enjoyed this discussion and want to stay up to date with all things gaming, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell for notifications on our latest videos. Until next time, keep gaming and see you in the next video.